Hi everybody, my name is Matt Burns and I love my job. I am here at CES 2013, I'm talking to Camilla, the global lead for Mindstorms at Legos. I love my job, but look at what you get to play with every day. I love my job too. Look, look at your business card. I mean, this, that, that just says it all. Yeah, it's cool. So we, we're surrounded by Lego robots. Yeah, this is Lego Mindstorms CB3, the new generation of Lego Mindstorms. We're actually celebrating, yeah, it's very confusing. <laughs> We're actually celebrating the 50th anniversary for Mindstorms uh, with the new EV3 generation. So what's new with the, the EV3? Well, uh, first of all, we have new sensors um, in the product. You couldn't try and put your hands in front of the eyes of Everstorm here. What's going to happen? Well, you'll see. So, so I, I could shoot my kids with these, right? Mm -hmm. That's what it's for. <laughs> nah, not really. So it's an infrared sensor, and uh -huh. it comes with a beacon as well. So uh, basically, I can control the robot from this one, mm -hmm. or the robot can follow this one, or you can program it to just you know, detect distance and, and things moving. So I, I know nothing about e the EV3, but I'm guessing that the central hub here, because they all have the same little heart, yeah. controls everything, and then from there you can build your, your robot or creatures or scary snake. Yeah, so first of all, just to sort of take a step back, Mindstorms is bringing Lego to life. You, you build your robot in Lego, and then you add behaviors and gestures digitally. Okay. So it, it's basically a hands-on and a mindset experience with Lego. And as you said, this is the central, this is the brain of the robot. It's the programmable brick, and what you can do, you can, can plug in motors and sensors to this one. So the infrared sensor, touch sensor, color sensor, and mm -hmm. three motors comes with the set. Okay. On top of that, this one actually can talk to Android and iOS devices. Really? Which means that you can now control your robot from your iPod or iPhone or whatever you have, which is you know, really exciting. And it comes with a free app, so you build a robot, you download the app, and suddenly you can remote control your robot and do funny things. I'm going to show you what you can do. This is just an example. Of this what you really do. is the future, isn't it? So, I have Reptar here. If I shake him, he shakes. Like that. So, you know, fun things and different ways to uh, command your robot. This is what nightmares are made of, right <laughs> here. And then we have, we have more robots down here. Yeah, so the set comes with five different robots you can build in the set. Uh, we provide 3D building instructions for tablets, Android and iOS also. So you build your robots in 3D. Uh, on top of that, when we launch the product, it's coming out second half, there'll be 12 additional robots, so you can build 17 different robots from one set. And then since it's Legos, I'm sure you can customize it however exactly. you want, right? Exactly, whatever you want. And that's our philosophy, is for children to play their way into robotics. So we want to hold a hand for a little bit and then have them wander off and build their own robots. I think you have it wrong. It's not for children, it's for dads. Well, children of all ages. Yeah, right, exactly. When Mindstorms came out 15 years ago, I was uh, in high school and not into Legos anymore. And now that I have a five-year-old son, I'm very glad that this is the future it's of Legos. It's a good father-son thing, actually, a father-daughter. Mm -hmm. Another thing with Mindstorms is, so as I said, you can you know, control it with this one, or you can control it using apps. You can do simple programming on the interface here, uh, very intuitive uh, programming, folder-based. But on top of that, we have software available okay. for PC and Mac that you can download from the website, where you can do much more advanced programming. So it's really a sort of a, a great progression of, for children. So depending on your skill level, there's an entry point to robotics, no matter you know, what you know of today. Um, so, you know, as I said, really for children to play their way in and to keep them motivated by starting out by just having fun and then continuously learning about robotics. It's really neat how you've blended the, uh, the physical world with the, the future of the smartphone. Uh, with the tablets and the smartphone apps and everything, kids spend a lot of time on those. And my son plays on the mm -hmm. iPad a whole lot. But if he can use the iPad to help him build Legos, that's brilliant. It is, it is. It's, and and we, for us it's been important, we've really been investigating how, uh, how, how do children of today perceive robots? And how do you want to interact and play with your robot? And uh, this is the outcome of, you know, really um, think it's, we've done a, actually a good job uh, of delivering, delivering what children want. Great. On top of that, um, the programmable brick is running Linux, which is, you know, right. quite cool for a Lego brick to run Linux. Uh, and on top of that, it has a SD expansion slot, so you can add a lot more memory to it. And then it has a USB host, which actually means you can add Wi-Fi to a robot, so you can take your robot to the internet. That's uh, pretty darn amazing. So Camilla, how much does everything cost? $350 is the price for the set. So the set gives you enough to build one of these, these robots, Yeah, you can right? build one robot at a time. Okay. You can, of course, 
it's backwards compatible with the existing Mindstorms we have out now. Mm -hmm. So you can you know, add those elements to it, well, uh, and you can plug in those sensors and motors to this programmable brick as well. Uh, and then, of course, you can build it with other LEGO sets. Uh, but one set, you can build one robot. Before we go, before we go, tell me what all these things do. This one shoots shoots a ball, obviously. But they all do all kinds of things. Okay. So these are just examples. Sure. So this one, uh, he shoots, uh, he walks, he actually skates. Uh, the app we're gonna have have out for him, you voice control him. So you talk to your phone and then you voice command him. Oh, that's neat. Uh, the snake is, you know, he's attacking, he's dangerous. So you put your hands oh. in front of him like that. So when children see it, it's really like, oh, I'm gonna hide it behind the door. And when my mom comes into room, right. she's Right. So, uh, you know, lots of fun with this one. Another thing is you can put this one, well, on your belt, and you can have the snake following you around the house, you know, because it's... That's clever. And this one is actually the robot we um, encourage children to start building. It's a very simple robot. The driving base takes about 20 minutes to build, mm -hmm. and then you can add different tools to it. So I can take this one off, and I can add other tools to it. Uh, and this one comes also with a mission pad. Uh, where we have small missions for children okay. to sort of start out with to keep them motivating and, uh, and play their way into robotics. What's this one? This is Gripper. He's a very strong robot. He's actually capable of lifting a full can. Oh, really? Uh, and then, you know... Can so I could, I could make this and then send it into my kitchen, put a can of beer here. He can pick it up himself. Wait, or you can... You it's know, for me, it's not for him. No, yeah. <laughs> so then what's this guy do? This is Biker. He's a very dangerous creep. Uh, he's a creature and he walks like that and he can shoot and uh, some of the ones, yeah, he can shoot me also. And one of the funny things is that if you put this one in front of him, you can have him follow this around and he can shoot it and, and sort of almost eat it. So all kinds of different things. But as you said, whatever your imagination allows you, you can build, you know, for us it's, it's our ambition for children to build their own robots and use their creativity. Mm -hmm. uh, and the app that we're coming out with, we actually allows you to create your own app within the app. So build your own customized robot, customize your app in our app, and suddenly you have a very personal robot and personal app for it. Camilla, thank you so much for stopping by today. This is, as a father of two kids, this is absolutely wonderful. $350 is available when? Second half 2013. Great. I'm going to take this one with me and I'll see you later. Well, I'll see you again. <laughs> <laughs> you have a Lego people out there ready to catch me, don't you? Thank you so much. Welcome.